Hello, it's Michael Matorch here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about the Definitely EV Materials system. It's a mouthful, but... <laughs> so there's a link for this down below in the description. So, what this is, is a whole bunch of materials for EV. So at the moment, I created this ship on Friday a couple of days ago, and it looks okay. I used Wolf 3D's materials and kind of just, you know, fudged something together. But it can be better. So once you install the pack, I just go CW. Um, and let me just say that Chip has done a fantastic job because he's given you over, I think, about maybe 20 minutes of tutorials on how to use this tool, how to install the tool, um, how to incorporate your own things into this tool. Beautiful. He's done a very good job. That's probably the best documentation I've seen for a very long time on a product like that. But anyway, so I'm going to search for CW, which is all our materials. And now we've got a list of materials that are available. So for instance, if I click metal, and then I can actually click here, this is the list of materials that it's given me. So let's just go, whoops, let me just select something. So let's select our main body there. And I'm going to go dirty or steel dirty. And what I can do now is I want to apply that material. So if you hover over add insert, you can see that I can press control left click and it imports that. And we can see that it's a very dirty material. I can come down here and he's, everything's very well laid out. I mean, I can read everything, I understand how everything's working, coming together. Um, but the material I quite like, I really like this one is in W uh, plastics. And over here, plastics um, with a matte finish. So if I select that and then control left click insert, and we can see now that we've got the blue color, which is fine because we can come down here, change the color to a grayish color, which is quite nice. It's a little bit too bumpy for my liking, but that's fine because I can change the texture scale. So let's just bump that up to, let's go three, three, and I don't want it so bumpy, so let's bring it back to 0.5. Whoa, sorry, this goes three. Let's bring the roughness down to about, uh, up to about 0.8. Yeah, it might be a little bit too much, maybe 0.5. That's exactly how it was just before, so let's keep it at that. Uh, the bump strength, let's bring that even further down. And I think maybe I've gone too far with three. Let's go two, two, two. And yeah. So there we go. I really like now this finish that's on there. It's, it looks a little bit better. So there's other cool things as well that uh, Chip has put together. So if I just hide these panels, let's just get rid of these guns. So as you can see, We've just got a plain face. First up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply add in a quick cube. And for this one, we need to have a little bit more of a place. So if I go plastics, I can go dirty. I can go dirty up, which is this one. So we'll see that once I press control and left click, we can see that it gets dirty from the bottom and then goes into the color. So now let's delete that cube. And let's select our body again. So now that that group has been used, I can do shift A, group, and we've got color dirty. So if I dump this one here, even though it's a very dark color, you can see ever so slightly that it's a bit dirty here. So if I bring this maybe up to white, you can see down the bottom here that this bottom part is dirty. And even around, all these intersecting meshes. So it's almost giving like a bit of an ambient occlusion. Mm, delightful. <laughs> so if I bring that back down, we can still have it. Maybe, maybe I'll bring it up a little bit. And then we have it. I mean, beautiful material. So if I go, for instance, body two, um, Let's come up to here. This is my body. I know if I bring this down to, 
CW plastic mat. Now we've got the same finish here. We've got that dirty area up here. Um, let's come down here. We've got body two. So with body two, what should we do? So let's have a look at the materials. So what have we got under tech? Do we have anything interesting? Um, let's go, let's put on some carbon fiber. <laughs> Control. Uh, nah. The carbon fiber doesn't really go there, but that's fine. We can easily change it to something else. Let's go, What? what's in other? Anything of interest? We've got some grimy, we've got rubber. Let's put some grime. And control left click. And so that's a little bit brown. We don't want brown. And there we go. CW Grime 1. So if I come up to here, this is my body 2. Let's replace this one. Or ultimately, I can double tap or select all. Let's find another body too. Let's select all, delete control V. And so now we've got all these pieces that are grimy and yeah, beautiful textures. And it's just so simple, so easy. Um, Chip's done a fantastic job with the definitely EV materials system. There is a link for it down below. There's a link for this down below in the description.